I'm Anthony L. Omar, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. My lecture today is Your Holding Gate Show is the name of God. How many of you believe in God? How many of you worship God? What does God mean to you? In my personal case, I am a Buddhist and I have the greatest love and respect and devotion to God. I, it has taken me over 42 years to come to realize that the name of God is your holding gate choke. It is only when I departed the Japanese nutrient sets and stopped letting Japanese teachers lead me is when I came to realize the truth about your holding gate choke. So if there is anyone out there who have a criticism about the proud Black Buddhist World Association. Let it be told that we at the proud Black Buddhist World Association consider your holding gate kyo the name of God. Now, this is what happened. In my life, I learned that your holding gate kyo, the name of God, see, I first learned Buddhism from the Japanese sense. That is, SGI, Nutrient Shoshu, and Nutrient Shu. What I did not understand was that these Japanese appropriated the name of God or Yoho Ninge Kyo. And they made God or Yoho Ninge Kyo Japanese. See, in the words of the hood, these suckers hijack the name of God or your holy gate kyo. Now, let me be clear. There is a clear line of demarcation between the Japanese nutrient Buddhist sets and us at the proud Black Buddhist World Association. See, Asians hijack Buddhism and extricated all Black Buddhist history culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. Now, this is what the father of history, Dr. Carter G. Woodson writes. Dr. Carter G. Woodson writes, quote, those who have no record of what their forefathers have accomplished lose the inspiration which comes from the teachings of biography and history. See, in regards to Buddhism, Asians extricated all black Buddhist history, history, culture, and language from Buddhist teachings. Consequently, you have black people who study Buddhism from Asians and they have lost their inspiration that comes from biography and history. In essence, you have people who are dorsal or who are uninspired. Now, the agents created culture where black people do not realize the essence and understanding of their own Buddhist potential. Now, in regards to the phrase, Yo Holding Gate Kyo, the most profound and sacred teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni, the Japanese and agents have brought to black people they brought black people anger, distrust, hate, fear, and misunderstanding. See, instead of Buddhism being able to encourage people and pull people together, the Japanese have brought a lot of mistrust among black people. One of the worst cases is the fight between the SGI and the Chinchoshu and the Chinchu, and you have black people who don't speak to each other, don't talk to each other, and they all got these different visions of Buddhism, but none come together in the greatness of Yoho Ninge Kyo. Now, specifically, 
the nutrient sets, the SCI, nutrient shows you nutrient shoe, and others have manipulated the phrase no holding a code for their own gain and personal enrichment. Yo holding a code should bring people together. Instead, the Japanese use this teachings as a point of contention and that Japanese teachers do not include the idea of God inclusive of Buddhist teachings. We proud black Buddhists teach God and the inclusion as part of our Buddhist practice. So if you want to go and you want to criticize the black Buddhists, criticize them because we do include God as a part of our Buddhist practice. Now, the first thing you must understand about Myoho Renge Kyo is that you must examine Myoho Renge Kyo from the sphere of black culture, history, and language. Please understand that the Japanese who introduced the phrase Myoho Renge Kyo or the title of the Sutra did so from the realm of their Japanese history, culture, and language. Please understand that the original people who inhabited Japan were black people. The modern day Japanese culture look upon their black ancestry with a culture of assault. When you dig deep into Japanese culture, you will find that the Shogun of Japan, Sakunario no Takamaro, was a black man and black people are an intricate part of Japanese culture and history. The Japanese today hide this history. Now, let me get back to the phrase, Yoho Renge Kyo. The phrase Yoho Renge Kyo has a distinct black culture history and language. What the Japanese Buddhist teachers do not tell black people or what is not commonly known is that a black man, Shakyamuni Buddha, first chanted Yoho Renge Kyo. Please understand that language, history, and culture is important when you view things from the standpoint of cause and effect. See, the person who reintroduced Yoho Renge Kyo to the Japanese people was Nitrin Shonen, who did so on April 28, 1253. Now, please understand that when Nitrin chanted Yoho Renge Kyo, he did so some 2,000 years after Myoho Renge Kyo was first chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Please look at Myoho Renge Kyo from the standpoint of black history, culture, and language. Now, in the Go Show, or Writers of Nichiren Shonen, the Go Show title, Daimoku of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, it was only when he reached the age of 72 that he first began to intone Yoho Renge Kyo, the Daimoku of the Sutra. However, people of faraway countries such as China and Japan were unable to hear it at that time. It was over a thousand years before China heard so much as the name of the sutra and another 350 or more years before it was heard in Japan." Unquote. Nichiren gives us a historical record that Asians in China did not hear about the title of the Lotus Sutra until over 1,000 years after the death of the Buddha and in Japan they did not hear about it until another 350 years or more. In essence, it was 1400 years 
after the death of the Buddha before Japanese people even heard about Yoho Renge Kyo. So, when you listen to these Japanese priests and you talk to them, they act like they were the inventors of Yoho Renge Kyo and it came from Japanese when in fact the Japanese didn't get it until 2,000 years after the death of the Buddha. Now, what we as black or African Americans must understand is the fact that the chant or title of the Lotus Sutra came from Shakyamuni Buddha who came from what was then called Eastern Ethiopia. The Buddhist religion did not arrive into Japan until 6th century AD. Now, what is it that makes the proud black Buddhist unique from most other Buddhist sects? Let us be more specific. What makes proud what makes us proud black Buddhists different from Mahayana Buddhism? See, Mahayana Buddhism is the time in history where Buddhism was separated by race, language, and culture. This is the time in Buddhist history where the Buddha was purposely changed from black to white. Look here at the images of the Ganhara, Ganhara Buddhist images created by the Kushan King Kanishka. It was Kushan King Kanishka and Avagosha who created Mahayana Buddhism. Mahayana Buddhism is characterized by the Sanskrit language. When you study Buddhist teachings in regards to Sanskrit language, it means that all black history, culture, and language has been extricated. When you research the history of the nutrient sets, the SGI, Nutrient Shoshu and Nutrient Shu and others, you will find that they are Mahayana Buddhists are closely associated with Mahayana Buddhism. That means they inherently practice a racist Buddhism that educate black culture, history, and language from Buddhist teachings. Now, let me move back to our lecture. Myoho Renge Kyo is the name of God. Please understand that you have the proud black Buddhist school <coughs> of thought and you have the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu school of thought that educate all black culture, history, and language from the Buddhist teachings. Let me put this matter of factly. If you want to know God, then chant Namu Myoho Renge Kyo Chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo will give you a direct path to God. You do not need an organization, you do not need a priest, and you do not need a Buddhist temple. You can chant Namu Myoho Renge Kyo and personally meet God. God exists inside of you. God is only your inherent Buddha nature. Now, let me give you the absolute best example. Tina Turner was introduced to chanting via her Buddhist chanting. Tina found God. Now, a good example is to listen to Tina Turner because Tina Turner did not follow the Japanese. You never see Tina Turner behind a Japanese or some Japanese speaking for Tina Turner. Tina Turner says that she always included her black culture, history, and language in the Buddhist teachings and that she always have made this inclusive of her Buddhist teachings. Let's listen to the words of Tina and come back and finish this lecture. Your holding gate is the name of God. Let's listen to Tina. 
I tell you something I learned. Charm and harmony can 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 change the negative into the positive. And that's how I changed it. Through love and through getting things done, not from power, but just from love and from being a good person. Welcome back to Speak Easy in our conversation with Tina Turner. I want to talk a little bit about your spiritual practice because everybody I know, man or woman, wants to be Tina Turner. Now, I say, <laughs> I say that because it isn't just your outer beauty, which is so obvious. I think they sense an inner beauty and they want to know how you got there. Now, I know the story, but is there something that you can say that isn't just like pop psychology, but something meaningful for you that helped you find out who you really are? Yeah, I want to try to simplify so I don't over talk because I could start over there and end there. First, I have to say that I don't think a lot of people realize how important food for the mind is. They don't understand how important meditation or prayer is. You see, I never stopped. I went from my Baptist prayers to Buddhism. Let's just say maybe it was um, different words putting in at a time when I needed different words. The Lord's Prayer to Nam Yaho Renge Kyo and then the book of saying words. What, it, what does it do? You can have a house beautiful, houses beautiful, cars, but there's still those moments when you don't feel good. Sometimes you, you're upset, you're just cranky, you're just unhappy, and you have no reason to be necessarily, or you're easily upset. Well, that's what the practice does for me. It helps me not to be upset easily. It helps me to deal with situations on a different level because I think differently about it. I don't get upset as easily. Yes, I still get upset because I'm only human. But the whole attitude towards someone getting upset because someone is blowing the horn or look at that crazy person how he's driving. I don't get upset about it. Things go wrong in the business. Before I get become angry, it, I will have to really dig into it to try to find what is going on before I get upset. Not upset first and then find out what's going on. What the practice does, it helps you to feel better. It helps you to think different. If you think different, you think correctly. I would say it helps you to think correctly. So that means you can help yourself get the things you want. Some people say, I was told that I could get things whether it's a car or a house, which some people need help in that way. Well, of course, because you change an old style of thinking, which is not very smart, that blocks you from getting where you want to get. But once you start putting words in, the same words, it's like typing in good thoughts. Mm -hmm. You type it in and you get a whole rollout of good thoughts. Your brain is thinking good thoughts. Your mind is constantly rolling and saying good things. So you think differently, which helps you to get to where you want to get, to get your car, your house, and to feel good. It's really very important what you say, what you think, how often you say it. Well, to use the metaphor of a computer, garbage in, garbage out. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's my little request. Could you just... Om Nam Renge Kyo wants just to hear you chant. You want to hear me? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Nam Myo Renge Kyo Nam Myo Renge Kyo Nam Myo Tina Turner makes it no secret that she makes her Christian upbringing and tradition a part of her Buddhist practice and her chanting Myoho Renge Kyo is also the same as chanting or recognizing her God-like character or who she is on the inside as a person. See, chanting Myo Ho Renge Kyo is bringing out your Buddha nature and it is the same 
as calling the name of God. Now, most of us who are black come up in a Christian culture. You must understand that chanting Namu Nyohorigeko is the same as calling the name of God. Let us be clear. We proud black Buddhists purposefully make our Buddhist practice inclusive of our black culture, history, and language. Most of us are brought up with a reverence for God. And I'm not here to tell you, and I'm here to tell you that Namu Myoho Renge Kyo is a reverence to God. Let us first give you the history and culture of Namu Nyoho Kyo. There are two schools of thought in regards to Namu Nyoho Renge Kyo or Namu Nyoho Renge Kyo. You have the Japanese Nitrin Set school of thought and you have the proud black Buddhist school of thought. Let us deal with the word Nam or Namu. The Japanese Nichiren sets teach that the word Nam or Namu is a Sanskrit word and that the word comes from Namos that means devotion. Please understand that the first Buddhist writings were the Pali Canon about 29 BC. The Pali language of Parskit is a black language and it is the indigenous language that was spoken in India or Magadha or that part of the world. It's called Paskit. The Pali language was around. Now, the language of Sanskrit is an artificial language and the people never spoke Sanskrit like the SGI Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu teach. They teach Sanskrit because Sanskrit is a white language. Now, for those of you who wants to question the idea of Sanskrit, I want you to first of all look or look at this word here is called Rudra Dhanna. The Rudra Dhanna is, is the oldest archaeological finding of the word of any Sanskrit word. This happened in the time of King Kanishka in the Shaka era who purposely changed the Buddha from black to white. This is the time when they started Mahayana Buddhism where they educated all black history, black culture, and black language and the Buddha moved from black to white. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to Google the word Namo. You will find that Namo means devotion, and Namo is a Paskit word, and it's a word that was around before there was ever any Sanskrit written. And the word Namo is not a Sanskrit word, but the word Namo comes from Namo, and it comes from the Pali or the black language. Please understand that the Japanese Nichiren Buddhist sets, the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, entrap black people in their anti-Buddhist, black Buddhist cultural spirit that promotes Sanskrit and their inherent way of extricating black history culture and language from their Buddhist teachings. See, the way that you extricate black Buddhist history is simply give the Sanskrit version. See, the Sanskrit version of Buddhism is when they extricate all black history, culture, and language. Now, please be clear that our incorporating the concept of God and to our Buddhist practice is, uh, is a way that we combat Japanese or Asian cultural imperialism. See, the incorporation of God into religious practice 
is a black thing. The ghost show, the Moku of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, the Lotus Sutra wherein the Buddha honestly discarded expedient means says that one gained interest through faith alone. See, you don't gain entry to Buddhahood through no SGI or through no Nitrin Shoshu or Nitrin Shu. Buddhahood is gained through faith alone, and that faith is in the Lotus Sutra. See, the Ghost Show, the real aspect of the Gohanzan reads, quote, The Gohanzan also is found only in the two characters of faith. This is what the sutra means when it states that one can gain entry to faith alone. It also reads, what is most important is that by chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo alone, you can attain Buddhahood. It will no doubt depend on the strength of your faith. To have faith is the basis of Buddhism. Thus, the fourth volume of Concentration and Insight states, quote, Buddhism is like an ocean that one can only enter with faith, unquote. It goes on further. The fourth volumes of the annotations on the Great Concentration and Insight explains this. It says, with regard to the phase, Buddhism is like an ocean that one can only enter with faith. Even Confucius taught that faith is first and foremost. How much more so true of the profound doctrines of Buddhism without faith, how could one possibly enter? Unquote. See, this is what you must understand that the Buddha taught that one can attain Buddhahood by chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo alone. The Buddha teaches us that one can only attain Buddhahood through faith and that the title of the Lotus Sutra or Myoho Renge Kyo is God. Myo, Myo is the same as God. Let me explain. The Gosho, the Daimoku of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, Next, the blind eyes of ordinary people were open, and even then, Ichatikas, who had been blind from birth, were able to establish a relationship with the Lotus Sutra that ensured them that their eyes would one day open. All of this was due entirely to the virtue of the single character Myo. Unquote. Please understand that the Damoko is the title of the Lotus Sutra or Myo Horinge Kyo. It further reads, quote, Milo says, the reason other sutras are called great but not Myo is simply that it is easy to cure those who have a mind, but difficult to cure those who are without a mind. Because it, the Lotus Sutra, can cure what is thought to be incurable, it is called Myo. A oh, wonderful! Does that not sound like a God to you? That's Myo. Now, the ghost show. The Dhammoku of the Lotus Sutra, or the title of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, This Lotus Sutra, however, can cure the dead as well as the living. Therefore, it has the character Myo in its title. Myo Ho Renge Kyo. Myo, as you see, is another name for God. What else? that you know that can cure the dead as well as the living other than a God. You see, in the Ghost Show, on attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime reads, quote, What then does Myo signify? 
It is the mysterious nature of life from moment to moment which the mind cannot comprehend or words express. When we look into our own mind at any moment, we perceive neither color nor form to verify that it exists. Yet we still cannot say that it does not exist for many different thoughts continually occur. The mind cannot be considered either to exist or not to exist. Life is indeed an elusive reality that transcends both words and concepts of existence and non-existence. It is neither existence nor non-existence, yet exhibits the qualities of both." Unquote. Now, the ghost show entity of the mystic law reads, quote, when the great teacher Na Yue explained the five characters, Myo Ho Renge Kyo, he said, quote, Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo, or mystic. Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho, or low. Renge, or Lotus, is a metaphor that's employed here. It would seem that, it would seem then it not that both Naye and Tentai interpret the lotus as a metaphor. Now, in the ghost show, the sacred teachings of the Buddha's lifetime reads, quote, regarding the words Yo Ho Renge Kyo, the profound meaning of the Lotus Sutra by Tentai says, of the word Myo. The character Myo or wonderful is defined as being as being beyond ordinary comprehension. It also says to reveal the depths of the secret storehouse. This is called Myo or wonderful. It also says, quote, Myo means the finest of the sutras. It is the doctrine of the gate to sweet dew or nirvana, and therefore it's called Myo. See, Myo is God. See, the Gold Show also reads, with regard to the word Ho, profound meaning says what is meant by Ho is the ten worlds, the ten factors, existences that both provincial and true. And it also says, quote, to define the proper relationship between the provisional and the true, this is term whole alone. Further, the Gosho reads, regarding the word Renge, profound meaning says the word Renge or lotus blossom is an analogy for whole or existence that are provisional and true." Unquote. It also says, quote, to point to the original enlightenment attained by the Buddha in the far distant past, this is compared to Ren, a lotus, to clarify the perfect way of non-duality of provisional and true. This is compared to gay a blossom. Further it reads, with regard to the word kyo, profound meaning says, quote, the voice carries out the work of the Buddha, and this is called kyo or sutra. Now, let's see if we can give you a better understanding. Now, the profound meaning sutra says, the voice carries the work of the Buddha. Now, the ghost show, opening the eyes of painted images, reads, quote, A person can know another's mind by listening to the voice. This is because the physical aspect reveals the spiritual aspect. The physical and spiritual, which are one in essence, manifest themselves as two distinct aspects. Thus, the Buddha's mind 
found expression as written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind found expression in written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind in a different form. Therefore, those who read the Lotus Sutra must not regard it as consistent of mere word, written words, for those words are in themselves the Buddha's mind. Unquote. See, this goes so further reads. In this commentary, Tantai uses the term Buddha's mind to indicate that the sutra itself, a physical entity, actually embodies the Buddha's spiritual aspect. Further it reads, because the Lotus Sutra manifests the Buddha's spiritual aspect, when one embodies that spiritual aspect in a wooden or painted image possessing 31 features, the image in its entirety becomes a living Buddha. Now, what this is explaining, ladies and gentlemen, is that the Lotus Sutra when you relight, recite the Lotus Sutra into a physical object, that is like the eye-opening ceremony, that object becomes a living Buddha because the Lotus Sutra represents the spiritual aspect of the Buddha. It is actually the Buddha. Now, in regards to our lives, when we recite the Lotus Sutra or the title of the Lotus Sutra, we are encountering not just simple words, we are encountering the spirit of the Buddha itself. Now, what is the spirit of the Buddha? The spirit of the Buddha is the ultimate spiritual reality. The ultimate spiritual reality is another name for God. So when you chant Myoho Ringe Kyo, you are tapping God or you are calling the name of God because the spirit of God or the spirit of the Buddha is Myoho Ringe Kyo that was intoned or chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, the gift of rights reads, quote, the truth has lies in the fires of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, quote, to have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, all non-Buddhist scriptures and writings in society are themselves Buddhist teachings, not non-Buddhist teachings. This means whether it's a Bible, whether it's a Quran, or whatever, it's all Buddhist teachings. And the essence of the Buddhist teachings is in the title, and the title of the ultimate spiritual reality of the Buddhist teachings is Myoho Renge Kyo. Now, the Gosho, propagation of the wise, reads, quote, the correct teachings of the time can be propagated only by a person of wisdom. In the gold show, the sword of good and evil, Nitrin Shonen writes, quote, you must pray to the heavenly gods with all your heart. Now, in the gold show, concentration, the image of Shakyamuni Buddha reads, quote, now, if we consider what the Buddhist writings have to say, we may note that the Golden Light Sutra states, quote, The God of the sun and the God of the moon, because they listen to this sutra, are able to obtain vitality and abundance. And the Sovereign King Sutra states, quote, through the power of the Sutra King, these luminaries are able to circle 
the four continents. You see, it is the power of the Lotus Sutra that gives these gods power. Now, Nitrin Father states, he says, I, Nitrin, have put my trust in this deity and in this manner have carried on my struggles in Japan over the past several years. Already I have the feeling that I have achieved victory. Such clear blessings can only be attributed to this deity. Now you have Nitrin Shonen who says his protection comes from a god or a deity. Now, the word Namu means reverence. It also means to awaken. It also means devotion. When you chant Namu Myoho Renge Ko, you are calling the name of God. You are awakening. You are showing reverence and devoting yourself to God. Now, in the ghost show, happiness in this world reads, quote, There is no true happiness other than upholding faith in the Lotus Sutra. This is what meant by peace and security in their present existence and good circumstances in future existences. Though worldly troubles may arise, never let them disturb you. No one can avoid problems, not even sages or worthies, unquote. See, please understand that true Buddhism is your history, culture, and language. Chanin Myoho Renge Kyo as the name of God is black cultural inclusion. We are not like the Japanese. We are saying that we are going to include our history, culture, and language, and part of that is making God a part of our Buddhist practice. The Japanese who teach Buddhism to black people practice Japanese culture and imperialism, whereas, whereas your black culture, your black history, your black language is non-inclusive of the Buddhist practice. It is not a white man who is saying this. It is not a Japanese who is saying this. It is the proud black Buddhists who make God a part of our Buddhist practice. Please understand that Tina Turner, who learned about Nam Myoho Renge Kyo from Japanese teachers, never gave up her traditional Christian values to become a Buddhist. Tina Turner never subjected herself to Japanese cultural imperialism. You would never see Tina Turner with some Japanese priest or some Japanese leader speaking for her or talking for her. Tina Turner speaks for herself. And Tina Turner makes it no secret that she has always included her Christian prayers with her Buddhist practice. She never gave it up. She was always herself and she's always been a proud black Buddhist who is admired and respected for a Buddhist practice around the world. Tina Turner never turned her back on her traditional Christian upbringings. She just made chanting Namu or Nam Yoho Renge Kyo inclusive of her life. Let's bring this Buddhist lecture to a close. One of the things that I learned in my 42 years of practicing Buddhism is that there is a term in Japan and the word is called Zuriho Bini. That means practicing Buddhism according to the local laws and customs of the land. Shakyamuni Buddha taught the precept of practicing Buddhism according to the local customs. For example, in Japan or in Asia, they did not come up under the culture of a strong Christian background or they used the word Buddha as opposed to the word God. We who are of African descent or African Americans learn 
in regards to religion, we learned the name of God. We didn't know anything about the Buddha. So respectfully in our culture, God is a part of our local laws and customs. Now, when Buddhism is introduced in the Christian religion, there is an issue, not no more so with Buddhism, but there is an issue of having an absence of God or not recognizing God. The Buddhist religion, or Zuyo Bidin, teaches us that we must have respect for the local laws and customs of the land. For example, I would not go to my grandmother and say, well, grandmother, I'm a Buddhist and I don't have God in my life. God is a very much a part of the life and culture in America. And there's no issue with the concept of God and the concept of Buddhism because the word God in Buddha is just a synonym. It's only a different culture or a different expression of the same word. So, what we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association do is that we practice Buddhism according to our custom and according to our culture, our history, and our language, and we make God inclusive of our Buddhist practice. So instead of using the word Buddha, we interchange the word Buddha with God. Because when you chant Namu Yohorinde Kyo or Nam Yohorinde Kyo, and you saying you are practicing the name of God, then others can instantly identify with that because we can identify with God. That is our culture. Now, by not having God in our culture, that is an Asian thing. That is a Japanese thing. We're not Japanese. We are African Americans and we are Americans and God is a part of our life. And God too is a part of Buddhism. Now, when I left the nutrient sets of the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu, I learned to read the Lotus Sutra in English because the Japanese had us, at least Nichiren Shoshu basically teach the Lotus Sutra in Shindoku or the Japanese language. And it was only when I read the Lotus Sutra where we learned more about God. Now, in Buddhism or in the Lotus Sutra, the 16th chapter of the Lotus Sutra talks about a person known as the Eternal Buddha. When you examine the Eternal Buddha, you will find that the Eternal Buddha and God is the same thing. Now, in the Gongyo book, a prayer book, and this is our, our prayer book, our Buddhist prayer book, in the 16th chapter of the Lotus Sutra, and I'll go real quickly, it says, it is many hundreds of thousands of biggins, or trillions of sample capitals of capitals, since I became a Buddha. So the Buddha tells you that he had gained this Buddhahood, or he became a Buddha, or whoever, thousands and billions and trillions of years ago. And what he says, he says in order to save the perverted people, I expediently show my nirvana. So what the Buddha tells us is that when he say he expediently show his nirvana, he means that he died. But in essence, he really did not die. Now, what he says in the Lord of Sutra, he says, although I always live here with the Buddhist people, I disappear from their eyes by my supernatural powers. And when they see me seemingly pass away, and they, they then make offerings to me, they adore me. He says, now, he said, you have thought I passed away. He said, but when you, at the cost of your life, call for me, then I will come to you. It also says, the eternal Buddha also says, he said, this pure world of mine is indestructible. He said, the people think it is for sorrow, joy, and other sufferings. He said, because of their evil karmas, these simple people would not be able to even hear the names of the three treasures. They would not even hear the names of the Buddha. But when you live 
upright and you become a good person and you call upon me, then I'll come. This is what the Lotus Sutra teaches. He says also, the Buddha says, he says, all wise men have no doubts. He said, remove your doubts. He said, he talks about this. He says, I am the father of the world. He says, I am here for you. He says, if people always see me, they'll become arrogant and letitious and cling to the five desires. He said, but I know who is practicing the way and who is not. Therefore, I expound various teachings. So the Buddha teaches us through expedient means. He teaches us by making you believe that he was dead, but he's actually here. But the way to Buddhahood is only through faith. Faith in the Lotus Sutra. In the Lotus Sutra, we read and we learn about the eternal Buddha. The eternal Buddha is Shakyamuni Buddha. And if you want to call him God, you can say God, or you can say the eternal Buddha. I think that we have given you enough. My name is Anthony M. Elmore, President and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, teaching you that no holding day cure is the name of God. Thank you very much. Since I've joined the NSA, I have changed my views of society and I have rekindled my desire to attain the American Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go Not the whole in the go is the way in which karma go I found myself a brand new mission to help others make a big decision. Bring to you a smooth for religion. It's not the religion that you expect, it's all about the law of cause and effect. Devote you to the middle of the call of teaching. We do a lot of wisdom preaching. No more life with any drama. We change the words and change our karma. We bring to you the new Buddha way. We bring to you the new way to pray. After long prayers, a lot of meditation, I bring to you the Buddhist conversation. We can change our human relation. We bring to you the culture integration. It's about peace and love and changing situation. This channel in Buddhism makes a lot of sense. It's about self development and enlightenment. Man. I made the decision to join the Buddha way. I joined the Buddhist and called it and say, Buddha's new to America and like a tree. What does the world say to China and me? Function to the middle of the call of the teacher. A different learning from a Christian preacher. Buddha's religion makes a lot of sense. It's up to the of an enlightened man. Becoming a Buddha's head is a good decision. Look at yourself and find the inner wisdom. The function to the middle of the call of the teacher. While we only have Japanese preaching, the Buddha's religion is the way to go. I will find our leader in Tokyo. I want it to Buddha way. Nation, I should follow him say, I no longer do it his way. Went to a temple called Taseka Chi. The courage of the temple don't relate to me. In 2014, I left the Buddhist temple. I teach the Buddhist that's more simple. Little shoe man that you don't have the knowledge. I want you to check my logic. The only way I teach Buddhism, I give the people a good rhythm. I'm not like a priest at the temple. I teach Buddhism and make it simple. You don't need a cutter to explain it. Sing it and dance in the middle of the language. Don't you turn the on the cover of the teaching? We teach them with the wisdom of preaching. We can teach the wisdom all of the only. We follow the religion that's shown it. Teach with us if you don't need a map. We know how to sing and rap. Let me bring some good news to you. We try to load the sutra. You don't have to practice here or after. Just do the second and sixteen chapters. You gotta have a person be in my Learn that load of sutra title. Love your whole being gay cold. That's the way that you come on go. Love your whole being gay cold. That's the way that you come on go. I don't care how the Japanese do it. I'm gonna put a little soul to it. I don't give a damn. You don't agree. I put the way that's really me. I respect and love you. I'm gonna practice a Buddhism with my own culture. I know you hate my dance and all the jerking. You're really gonna be upset when I start my twerking. We don't follow the rules and we do no rehearsing. The Buddhists are follow the law and no persons. I don't care if my Buddhist practice don't suit you. 
We for the law of law and the Lord of Sutra. Come on, go. Now, your ring gate, go. It's the way in the rich come on, go. Now, your.